two of the Living Faith Church and Labour Party presidential candidates, Mr. Peter Obi, have reacted to the leaked audio allegedly capturing their conversation on the eve of the February 25th, 2023 presidential election. Speaking on Sunday, April 2nd, at the church headquarters in Ogun State, while preaching on the subject of faith, Oedipo said he has never campaigned for any politician during any election in the country. He spoke less than 24 hours after the leaking of the audio, where Obi solicited the support of Oedipo to help get votes from Christians in the Southwest. Daddy, I need you to speak to your people in the Southwest and Quara. The Christians in the Southwest and Quara. This is a religious war. Like I keep saying, if this works, you people will never regret the support. The audio quoted Obi as saying. In his reaction, Oyedipo said he has never spoke to any group of people on behalf of any politician. Nobody had ever told me what to say in this world. No, I have never campaigned for anybody or speak on anybody's behalf and I will not do that till I go to heaven, he said. But reacting through his media aide, Valentine Obiayem, Obi said the audio was doctored and that he was quoted out of context. In a Facebook post on Sunday, Obiayem said, I had they set up a committee made up of some communications experts, headed by our political brother from Inewi. They are reviewing all calls Obi made in the last three years and especially now to see if he mentioned interim government or anything that will make them persecute him for treason when and if he take over. Till now, they are yet to see any. The badly doctored conversation with Bishop Oyedipo released by our Inewi political brother is the much they have discovered so far. They addicted out the Muslim Muslim ticket that led to the discussion, where Obi said that in a society like ours, religious balancing was a necessary consideration and that their recklessness had made Christians to assume it was a religious war, Obi Ayem said. From Lagos, this is Peace Singapore, News Express Nigeria Television.